Hey, how you guys doing? I'm Nate Anime, and welcome back to my channel. So, in today's video, I'm gonna be doing something a little bit crazy, and something I probably should have did a while ago, although I was holding back, and I'll explain that in a second. But today, I'm gonna be buying GTA Plus, so I can get access to the Emperor Vectra's Sword Boy Itasha livery that has been hidden in the game for just about two years now, basically since the Los Santos Car Meet DLC or update came out like almost two years ago. And they've been holding that livery as well as some other liveries, even for other cars, you know, hostage. Like they're not releasing them for whatever reason. Well, they have decided to release them just a couple of days ago, but for GTA Plus members only. And the problem with that is GTA Plus is PS5 and Xbox Series exclusive, which means if you're on the PS4, you can't access it. If you're on the Xbox One, you cannot access it. And even if you're on the very advanced PC version of GTA Online, you cannot access it for whatever reason. So you need the PS5 or Xbox Series version. And I do have the PS5 version, but the one thing I have not done is transferred over my account and there's a reason for that because I still have some people and friends that I still play with on the PS4 for GTA Online. Not only that, I even have the Japanese version of GTA 5 and GTA Online for the PS4, which if you guys didn't know, the Japanese version of GTA Online and GTA 5, they're actually on different servers. Not only are they on different servers, a lot of cutscenes are also censored, like nudity and stuff like that. You know, all the crazy goodies that you get with a specific version made for a specific country. The main reason I got the Japanese version is because of the servers. If you didn't know, you can't actually play with Japanese players on GTA Online with your Western version. You have to have the Japanese version of GTA Online to access the servers and the difference between the Japanese servers and the United States Canada and European servers is just day and night I mean I can walk into a free mode lobby on the Japanese servers and not get blown up I can sit in there for an hour and not get blown up like people are just not you know gun-ho crazy like they are on the Western version of GTA Online. It's just a big difference. In fact, I use that version to actually make money because you don't actually have to make a new account. All you have to do is just put the game in and play and it pulls up your account like you never, you know, transferred from a different server or anything like that. It just plays exactly the same. That's some of the reasons why I kind of held back on transferring my account over to PS5 because there's still a lot of opportunities for me on the PS4, but unfortunately I think it's time for me to say goodbye to the PS4 version of GTA Online, at least for this account. I do have another account, which is my personal account. I'll keep that one on for as long as I can, probably until Rockstar pulls the plug on PS4, which I do think will be very soon. So yeah, anyways though, let's go ahead and migrate my PS4 account over to the PS5. So I think you guys already know how this works already, this is my first time doing it, at least for the PS4 to PS5 transfer. I was around for the PS3 to PS4 transfer, which is very different from the PS4 to PS5 transfer. When you transfer your account, from PS4 to PS5 and I guess Xbox One to Xbox Series and I guess soon from whatever console you have decided to go from to PC. For some strange reason, they delete your account on PS4 and Xbox One. This wasn't a thing for the PS3, the PS4, and Xbox One transfers, so I don't know why this is a thing and it does suck because like I said, I do have some people that I do play with and if I transfer my account over now, I will not be able to access my account, at least with these stats that you see on the screen here on the PS4. It just deletes them, and I don't understand that concept. I don't know why that's a thing. That's another reason why I have not transferred my account. It's just very weird that Rock, how Rockstar is just doing this. It's just, I, I don't understand it, but anyways though, it is time to say goodbye to the PS4 version for this account, so yep, let's do the migration. I haven't even bought GTA Plus yet. That's the 
one sad thing I have to do, which I don't think I'm going to be keeping that. I'm just going like, you know, you know, one time purchase it, you know, buy it once because I can't see myself, you know, actively subscribing to a video game such as Grand Theft Auto. It's just not what I'm going to do. So, yeah, here we are on the PS5 version of GTA 5 or GTA Online. Honestly, it looks kind of the same. The graphical improvements are strange. Again, this is really not that big to me because I have the PC version of GTA 5, so this really doesn't, you know, like surprise me or make me go like, wow, ooh, whatever. It's really just the same. Like right now, I can put this up to performance, right? Yeah, this is, I see this all the time. I open up the PC version, but I guess difference between the PC version and this version, this version doesn't have any modders, so yeah, that is the one upside. Yeah, here is our Emperor Vectra. Um, oh, right, 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 I forgot. The Karen S95. Honestly, I actually kind of forgot all about that car. Holy crap. Um, yeah, we gotta check out that car uh, at some point in time, sometime this week, hopefully. But yeah man we gotta check out that car but um yeah so let me see now if we go to a los santos customs right now i don't think we'll be able to purchase it i just want to make sure i just want to make really 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 make sure that i can't access delivery without buying uh gta plus so let's let's totally make sure here because again I think it's really just kind of stupid and kind of grimy that Rockstar is actually making people, you know, like, subscribe to GTA Plus just for that. And, yeah, yeah, you do have to get GTA Plus, so, yeah, that does suck. Which makes me wonder, like, are people on PS4 ever going to be able to access that? Because, as far as I know, the PS4 version is the same as the PC version. And in the PC version, the liveries are hidden in the game so I can only assume the liveries are also on PS4 but when will you get access to it is a big question alright so another big question is how do I subscribe to GTA Plus alright there we go I got GTA Plus um, I think I have to join a new session or it's going to do it for me alright so it's official I bought GTA Plus god I feel so dead inside so here we go into Los Santos Customs, and bam, look at that, we got two more options here. Um, so we got the Mambas livery, which um, is also another livery that has been hidden away in the game, which I do think there are other liveries besides this one too. So I think there's like two more liveries that come with this car, and on top of that, there are other cars in the game that still have hidden liveries, so. Yeah, just take that into mind but yeah this is not the only car that's suffering through what I can only assume is going to be a paywall with GTA plus because they're doing this with GTA plus I can only imagine the fate of all the other hidden liveries in the game on other cars in the game Especially if you're on PS4, so yeah, that does suck, but yeah, you get the Mamba's livery, alright, and then we get the very popular, most wanted livery in Grand Theft Auto Online for people who are into the Itasha vehicles, the Sword Boy Itasha livery from the in-game anime Princess Robot Bubblegum. You can now access it legally on here and on top of that you get it for free well okay technically i paid $5.99 just to get access to this so free in game so yeah i had to pay $5.99 for this and there we go it's added onto the car and you can now take it out and drive it around pretty cool there's not a lot of people out there who can actually afford to get a PS5 right now and even find one. Again, like I said, you can find one in stores now, but still. There's still some people out there who still are not able to get access to one. There's some people in other countries who are still not able to get access to this version of GTA 5. So, it does kind of suck. If you are a person who is stuck on PS4, 
I do feel really bad for you because this shouldn't even be a thing. GTA Plus shouldn't even be a thing. This is kind of stupid, and I'm, I feel really bad right now for actually paying for this, just to buy this, but I bought this for you guys just to demonstrate it, just in case you guys aren't aware of this. Um, again, uh, personally, I do not condone the purchase of GTA Plus. I would say if you can, possibly stay away from it as much as possible. I don't think it's worth it unless you just have a disposable amount of income and you're okay with just tossing money away like it's nothing, then I say go for it. I mean, like I said, it is only $5.99, basically $6. So, yeah, it's... I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm very mixed on the whole GTA Plus thing. I'm just not a big fan of it. Like I said, I'm probably going to end up canceling the subscription once I... You know, once like the month is up and everything, but I will take advantage of some of the opportunities and some of the free stuff I get. Like for example, right now, if you guys didn't know, the 50 car garage is now available to purchase in GTA Online. I just don't like the GTA Plus thing, personally. But, but yeah, I think I'm going to end the video here because obviously I've already done a video on this car. This is just me just, you know, coming back for a minor update showing you guys this livery. But yeah, I think I'm going to end the video here. If you guys liked the video, make sure to leave a like. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video.